write this down. And they don't even know why they're writing it necessarily. The angel of the covenant that you desire. Malachi, write that down. What's that about? Why is it leaving first? <laughs> and there's a reason for that, too. Uh, that's how you know. The entirety, it's not just Torah. And uh, we don't really talk about Torah much. We, it, it comes up a few places that got missed by the rabbis and the sages. Well, God is in his spirit. It's in the Exodus when he says, my angel goes before you. Well, look at Isaiah 63. I think it's verses 7 and 8. He talks about the angel of his presence and the Holy Spirit. Do the same thing. He's an angel and his body is not human form with wings. Uh -uh. It's the spirit of God. That's his body. And I never hear anybody talk about the angel of his presence. If God spoke to Jacob, and there's a man in divine, and Jacob says, I fought with the man in divine things. God speaks. Well, right then, you should know there's an angel with him. No, that's two divine beings. And Jacob says it was a man. And yet, y'all, they've never figured it out. And it's simple as pie. Of course, God had to tell me, but <laughs> I didn't come up with it on my own or anything. All right, let me carry on. <clears throat> Here's Malachi 3.1. Behold, I am sending my messenger to clear the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek shall come to his temple suddenly. As for the angel of the covenant that you desire, he is already coming. Jesus uses Malachi 3 1 that I just read to describe his cousin John the Baptist to be Elijah. But he leaves out the angel of the covenant. Huh? Why? It's sin forgiveness is why. That's why he leaves early. What did Jesus die for? What was he sacrificed for if everybody sinned free? A holy seed to build. No, it would have been before that. Anyway. Um, I guess the second temple. I'm not sure. There are only two specific covenants to come. We got This is all that's left of the prophecy of God today here in the day of the Lord. This day, begun in 1948, the land blooms again, ruined cities restored, Jerusalem rebuilt, I will make a new covenant with you. Be, and the covenant is right Torah on your heart, and all will heed me. For, because... I will forgive your sins and remember them no more. And I got a lot of explanation why that writes Torah on your heart. Basically, you write it yourself. What it does is, when you find out God's, and people are believing, God has forgiven the sins of all the Jewish people. They are a holy seed to build the third temple. You'd be surprised at how many people are going to come running back to synagogue. Could be a blessing for the rabbis who kind of got a curse because they're all dismissed before God. That's in the Bible. I don't say, I don't teach man's word like they do. And I'm telling you, I don't think anything heats him up more than that. And he's really, yeah. You know, he's not nearly the angry God that you get from Torah. The first five books. Um, I guess it's all the Hebrew Bible. But he's not that angry. Now, with me and the fire refinement to change my emotions to, like, take a cadet and send him to boot camp to become a Navy SEAL or a Marine, you know, they're pretty harsh on you. And um, breaking a wild horse. If you've never seen that, you don't want to watch it. They, here's his wild stallion, and they just beat the hell out of him, knocking him to the ground, tying legs together. And, you know, finally the horse just, just goes, go ahead, get on. 
I'm ready to ride. You gotta stop this. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. <laughs> but Jesus uses Malachi 3 1 to describe John the Baptist as Elijah. But in the description I just read, it would read like this Behold, I'm sending my messengers to clear the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall come to his temple suddenly. Period. There's no as for the angel of the covenant. <laughs> well, he need, he's got to point out who Elijah is because he's clearing the way for the Lord. And Jesus is considered to be the Lord. He had no choice, but he, they, they, here's a classic example of just changing things up to make it more palatable that the Hebrew Bible um, is, is about Jesus. What did you see the next story? <laughs> Don't miss chapter 17. Um... Oh, <laughs> that the Hebrew Bible is prophetic of Jesus Christ is what I was supposed to say. <laughs> God, he continually irritates me. I mean, my whole life is irritation and pain. I, I'm still on the fire. Now, so far this month, things have been easier. But 2022 was so brutal. I don't know how I didn't spontaneously could bust and die. It got so bad. I mean, it, it was nonstop. I mean, he put a pain on you. He can do it anywhere. Stomach hurt, crushing my jaws and uh, my side of my head, my feet. I call them hobbit feet. They're like they're all swollen and stuff. He can do anything. I don't know how he comes up with these things. It makes me nervous. But uh, he can put a paint on you. You think to yourself, I can't take this more than five minutes. You know, two weeks later, you're going, I don't think I can take this five minutes. <laughs> you, you're getting delirious. Pain, uh, sleep deprivation, huge. You find out I can stay up for four straight days. Didn't know that. <laughs> Ain't no, God doesn't sleep. It's like, wake up. I said, it's only been an hour. Wake up. Oh, yeah. Ask for God to come to you. He said, I want to talk to God. Yeah, maybe. Remember, he believes suffering makes you stronger. I don't know how long he'll talk to you before you get a pain somewhere. And he'll say, this is making you better. And he'll say, I don't want to be better. That's what I thought. I thought, I'm just fine. All I got to do is teach a book. I don't fear your people. I know more than any of them. Besides that, they're not going to take pot shots at me because you can't lose me. You're not going to let me get killed by them. Now, the Christians, you got to keep me away from them, too. They're not going to be none too heavy, especially with chapter 17. Jesus said, This is he, John the Baptist, of whom it is written. He's pointing at John the Baptist. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. Period. No angel of the covenant. Jesus is saying that John was clearing the way for Jesus as the Lord, as the Son of God, or God in incarnate, and as a renowned teacher of the scripture at synagogues as 